We're here in the Seifel House at the New London Historical Society, and joining me now is Carol Williams, who's in charge of the special events here. Welcome. Thank you very much, Lynn. Tell us a little bit about your work here. Okay, great. Well, Lynn, in, in addition to running my company, which, as most people know, is Efficient Productivity Systems, I am the rental coordinator mm -hmm. here at New London Historical Society. So what that means is when there's an inquiry that comes in through the website most of the time, um, I'm the first point of contact. Mm -hmm. And I like to say that within 24 hours, I'm always going to respond to you. Great. And then right away, I answer any questions that the pre people may have. I send the fee schedule and the information, and I ask them if they'd like to set up a visit. Um, then what happens is, most of the time they want to set up a visit because it's a beautiful place. It, it sure is. <laughs> it really is. So what I do is I, I have them tour the grounds. Mm -hmm. um, there are three things that we that we rent here, mm -hmm. okay? So it is the Pils the, the barn, the Phillips barn, mm -hmm. um, the meeting house, yes, and then the green. And it's kind of an a la carte thing, Very which nice. is really great. Mm -hmm. um, people really appreciate that flexibility. Mm -hmm. In addition, we can open any of the little buildings for about an hour, um, and there are docents in charge of those buildings. Right, mostly so. just as a, as a look-see, yes. Yeah. Tell us what kind of events you think work best here. Okay, well, the mission of the New London Historical Society is really to serve both public and private. But, but um, when I say public, what I'm talking about is Nonprofits, mm -hmm. so it's really important um, to reach out and open the doors wide mm -hmm. to those nonprofits. Um, come in and have your, um, you know, your parties here, your meetings here. Most of the time, it's a meeting with maybe a little reception afterwards. Right. It's very important um, for them. So they like to kind of strike a balance between um, serving the nonprofits yes. and you know, having their own events. The London Historical Society has some of their own events and then, you know, opening up the doors wide as um, kind of two things, as a local gem mm -hmm. for those who want a wedding or a reception right. or, you know, rehearsal dinner here and also as a destination. Absolutely. Um, it's a beautiful place for a destination mm -hmm. wedding um, with the, not only the scenery here at the Society, right. but, you know, you've got all of the other mountains, there's Sunapee and the fells and all the rest of it. So it works there very, is. very nicely. There's a, a lot balance. in this area. Well, and I like that you've got the three different options. So if you need to be undercover, you've got the meeting house. Correct. Pillsbury would be great for a summer yeah, dance or something yeah, or a nice fun. recital. Yep. And then if you want to do the tent, you've got the gorgeous field. Yeah, yeah. So some people will rent a tent and put it on the green and others will just simply have the open um, field for their ceremony. Mm -hmm. And I've seen, seen it done all different ways. It's beautiful. Um, it's always amazing, actually, how creative folks will get. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really what they love about it, is that they can, within reason, really make it their own. Right. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we had a bridal party that used um, birch trees and nice. just hung white lights up against all of the columns, and it was stunning. I'm sure, stunning. yes. Um, I've seen it done so many different ways. When people say, how do you set it up? I said, well, here, I'll give you a range of options, or you can make it your own. Right, and can you help, for people that are out of town, can you help connect with caterers and people like yeah, that? Yeah, we can provide a list of caterers that have worked well with us in the past. Mm -hmm. um, but one thing that is nice, I think, is that we don't require you to use any specific caterers. It's unusual. Mm -hmm. You can even do it all yourself. Mm -hmm. So depending on the kind of people you are um, and your budget, yes. you can either you know use a caterer or not use a caterer um, or whatever. So and then we, right. we of course will meet with your caterer. I'll, I'll set That's up as super. many meetings as as needed. Um, but, you know, we do have kind of a system that works really well, you know. Well, and what I think is one of the nicest things is not only are you getting a beautiful facility, but you're helping support the work and the mission of the Historical Society right. to continue to educate and preserve and protect our legacy buildings and collections. So it's right. a feel good for everybody. So great. Mm -hmm. Well, good. Well, we've got the website up on the screen, uh, newlondonhistoricalsociety.org. And... Um, 
anybody can give you a phone call, get your they information can, off can, of there? They can absolutely call. Probably the best way though, honestly, is just to take a couple of minutes and fill in the form. Right. Because when they, I get that on the email, again, mm -hmm. I will respond certainly within 24 hours and usually within a couple of hours. Super. And that way I know what it is you're looking right. for right away. It's actually the most efficient way to do it. Excellent, <laughs> so. great. Well, great, we'll have a great season. Thanks Thank so you. much for bringing us this Thank historical society. Take okay. care.